Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not even talking about the shit that I want to talk about that I'm going to send out. Because I've been told some stuff. And it needs to be discussed by whoever the powers that think they be are. I have been informed. I have been told some things. And it has nothing to do with my personal life. Beyond me participating and dispensing the information. And it's serious stuff. That's why I'm not even going to attempt to talk about it on here. They were cutting me because of what I said in the beginning about, you know, who's died already. Uh, you know, they've. it's like I told the people at Waffle House tonight, I was in there running my mouth because I'm not going to stop running my mouth because that's exactly what God wants me to do. And it's exactly what I've been told to do now. I've been quiet long enough. I was escorted out of the casino for variety of reasons. And I was ever so Christ-like in the whole ordeal. Because I didn't do nothing wrong. I didn't hurt nobody. I was making the employees have a good night. They were just overjoyed by my presence. And every time the waitress came up there, I turned the music down so that they could discuss what needed to be ordered up. And I could have a conversation with the, the waitress standing next to me. I do like to be in my own world and drown shit out. But if there's a soul around, I love to dispense all of the encouragement I possibly can. And she was my generation. So we just got along just peachy, a little younger than me. Everybody's looking for their calling and purpose in life. I only went and found mine so I could come and tell everybody how to find theirs. And this is the deal. The shit that I have discovered would, you know, get me killed. I don't care. They can kill my body. I've already died so many times. I've got nine lives. I haven't even gotten close to that yet. Anyway, and they're scared. I will say that too. You know, I think that they thought after everything they've done... That they had the cat in the bag. But they didn't. And they're all up there and they're, oh, anyway. I had a mason as a neighbor and I was really close to him when I was a child. And I'll tell you what, right now, I had no idea what that old man was teaching me. But he has taught me well. Well. Because the Freemasons are an order. Probably up next to the Illuminati. I don't give a shit what order they think they're in. They've all been clamoring for the first and second place next to Christ. But they don't even fucking know him. What they do know is their pride, their ego, their lust. The seven deadly sins is all they know. And God is not going to dispense the power that they're playing around with. With all the shit that I'm doing. Because I'm successful. And I have mastered a very high order of things that is higher than anybody else on this earth at present including all of those organizations and I'm ever so humbly living down here among the people that they despise and use to stay wealthy and indulge themselves because I am acting as I was instructed by the prophet Ellen G. White, the part of Jesus Christ, the righteous. And they have heard about me. And they can't touch me with a 10 foot. They can follow me around. They can rear end my car. They can try to stir up a tsunami and kill a bunch of people with their machines, their CERN, and all of the other things that they are doing. But I'm greater.
Greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world, driving him to these things that I'm still thinking about. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in this pronoun you want to step on the source of every good gift and every perfect gift that comes from above from the almighty the jig is up because a little guy broke through who is not controllable and who is not murderable anymore. I left this house with several distractions that kept me from leaving as soon as I was told to at 4.20. I will be shortly posting the videos of the sunset that I was told to go watch as I charged my battery with the sun. Not Toyota's fucked up batteries that they create but the son of righteousness who has healing in his wings fixed my car. If there was anything wrong with it. And I pulled over on the freeway and videoed and took pictures of a big, beautiful red E in the sky. Because my God speaks to me. And I am under the shadow of the Almighty God is love. Under his feathers do I rest. He is my shield and my buckler. And in him I do trust. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. In all thy ways acknowledge him. And he shall direct thy paths. Once to every nation. Only once to every nation. Look the hymn up. I think it was written by Wesley, but I'm not for sure. That's what God's saying in my head now. I think I'll check and see. Wesley.